building a social media presence project. Marika is a very private person who usually finds it uncomfortable to share information about herself. She has become more comfortable with sharing during her career, but is still challenged to promote or sell herself, which is not helpful for someone who is self-employed. This project challenged her to step out of her comfort zone and become more involved in social media. How did she do? Let's find out in her five to seven minute speech titled, Promoting Myself, Yikes. Please help me welcome Marika Adams. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh. Mr. Toastmaster of the Day, honored dignitaries and fellow Toastmasters. What makes a person comfortable with sharing their image and their thoughts with the whole world? That's what social media is about now, isn't it? You share your thoughts with the whole world. That is so not me. I also wonder how does social media add value to my life? To me, the first impression is it's a huge black hole for how to spend time and lose time. And yes, you might see some interesting things and maybe a lot of wonderful pet videos, but where is the value to me? So this project is all about building a social media presence. Presence? Yes, presence. And this is a challenge to me. This is one of the elective projects that I have avoided or put off doing because I'm not big on social media. Yes, I have a Facebook page. I did that primarily to keep up with my nieces who are in Montana. I rarely <coughs> post anything to it. And I don't usually look at it unless I get a message that somebody I'm following or connected to posts a link. So what is this thing, social media, and why should I be involved with it? Well, let me back up. I like to give a little bit of history. The internet was born, by all accounts that I found, in 1983. By 1983, I was already pretty well established in my first career. I was a hospital pharmacist then. And it's like, okay, this internet thing, I'm big into email, that's a good thing. And the rest of it is maybe optional. <laughs> that 20 years later, Social media platforms that became global became available. In 2003, MySpace was the first social media platform to go global. In 2003, LinkedIn was launched. And in 2004, what we now know as Facebook, although it's probably actually called Meta these days, was launched. So by the time these platforms were launched, I was pretty well established in my second career as a pharmaceutical scientist. And I didn't see the need to be that active on them. However, a few years ago, probably about 10 years ago, and I was trying to remember how long ago because I wanted to be able to tell you, but I remember it was pre-COVID, so I'm gonna say about 10 years ago, I was at the uh, annual national conference for the American Medical Writers Association. And I've forgotten which session I was in, but someone mentioned that they had just spoken with a potential client. There are a lot of us who are self-employed in that world. Spoken with a potential client, offered them her, her resume, and they said, oh no, we got your LinkedIn profile, we don't need your resume. And I thought, what? So then I had to go home and looked at my, look at my LinkedIn profile and figure out, okay, well, if people are gonna be looking at this before they even talk to me, then I need to do a little more about this. So I developed my profile a little bit more, but I've done not much with it since then. So, <clears throat> yes, thank you. I could argue that was right, but it, it was unnecessary. In May, <laughs> in May, I went to another conference, again, medical writing coincidentally, and I was networking with people with whom I wanted to work. It's a company that I know for its software. It also does medical writing. And I was very interested. And, and they're like, I don't want your business card. Um, you know, share your LinkedIn with me. At that point, I'm thinking, uh, I have LinkedIn on my phone, but I don't think I've ever opened it. So 
I had to walk off to the side and get into my LinkedIn and figure out and figure out how to do that. So I realized then, eh, you probably need to do a little more with this. So this project was perfectly timed for me. This is the time for me to get more involved in social media, at least with LinkedIn, at least for my profession. What have I done for this project? I have reviewed my, my profile, and in fact, just this morning, I saw somebody else's profile, and I, they have some words that I want to incorporate in mine. My profile, the about section where I describe myself, is probably too passive and is probably outdated. And I might actually ask some of you to go look at it and give me feedback on it. So I need to do that. One of the things I noticed in the last couple of days as I was looking around on LinkedIn is that many people in their posts have not only their name, but their credentials, their degrees after it. And I thought, mine doesn't. So I went back and looked, and the page that you put your, your name on doesn't have a place for that. So I did what I figured they did, which was to just put it after my last name. So now it's, instead of just Marika Adams, it appears as Marika Adams PharmD PhD. Instantly gives me a little more credibility instead of just being somebody with no degrees. Unfortunately, those degrees mean something in the world. Not necessarily a whole lot, that depends on the, the viewer. But so I've updated that. This project also requires you to make three posts, or requires, yeah, project requires you to make three posts on social media. And I confess I have not done that. But I have made, in the last few days, comments on at least three posts and at least two of those got likes from other people, so I must be uh -huh. doing something right. <laughs> so, you know, for, for, for me, who's kind of shy and doesn't really want to put herself out there, we could talk about the reasons why I don't want to do that, and it probably has to do with having a rather isolated teenage years, so I didn't really learn a lot of social skills, and the fact that uh, I did have, as a young adult, have one of my close friends steal my credit card information and use my credit card without my permission. So I feel violated a little bit, so I have walls up. But I now understand better the use of social media, and I will be using social media more. Well, at least LinkedIn. Now, one of the challenges I haven't figured out is in my mind, it's very narrow. I use LinkedIn for my pharmaceutical profession but I've had a lot of requests for connections from the Toastmasters and I need to be more open and open it up to the Toastmasters as well. I don't need to compartment my personal life and my professional life as much as I usually do. So though I, although I still have concerns about social media and being out there in the public arena, I am now more comfortable with it. I appreciate the opportunity to share my experiences with you. I appreciate, particularly appreciate the nice positive feedback on those, on those likes. Yes. yes. And I now see that creating this online presence is definitely worth my time. Mr. Toastmaster.